If you want to become a photo editing pro, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on all of the notifications. Hi, it's Chi Wen. Thanks for tuning in to UCAM Perfect Editing Hacks. Today, we're going to reveal three ways to remove unwanted objects from your photos with the UCAM Perfect app. With our app, it's super easy to remove anything you don't want from your photo with just a few taps. No Photoshop needed. Ready to get started? Here we go. The first way is to use the Smart Object Removal tool. This is one of my favorite features. Whenever I travel, I take a ton of photos and sometimes you get an unwanted photo bomber or two or five or there's some not so appealing clutter in the background of your photo. So this is when the object removal tool comes in handy. Once you've imported your image into the app, you want to click on the removal tool. So let's start by removing the soccer ball. You turn on the smart brush and use it to select the ball and the app will be able to detect its outline. So whatever you highlight in red is going to be what's removed from your photo. So that means the smart brush is really useful when selecting specific items that have a clear outline. Now if I wanted to remove these birds in the sky, for example, then I would turn the smart brush off and highlight the area manually instead. So you can adjust the size of the brush and then just color over the area you want to remove. So a quick tip for when you're doing this is to make sure you highlight slightly bigger than the area of the object you're trying to get rid of. This way, the app will be able to better detect and remove the whole item without a trace. So once you're finished, click Remove, and ta-da! The app instantly erases the object and creates a filler background in its place, like magic. The second way is to use the Add Photo tool. By using this feature, we can copy a large chunk of a similar area from a photo and then paste it over to the place that we want to cover. So first, I'm going to save what I just edited, and I'm going to go ahead and remove these girls in the back, sorry. So click Add Photo, and then you want to crop the area that you want to replace it with, and then Paste, and position it to cover the girls. And I'm going to erase the edge a little bit, just to make it look more natural. Cool, right? With just these two steps, we've got a nice, neat background. Last but not least, the third trick is to use our clone tool. This follows a similar idea as the add photo feature, but it has a blending option to make the copied part blend a little better with your original background. Let me show you how it works. Click on tool and then select the clone feature. Then you want to use the brush and select the area you want to duplicate and click clone. The app will copy the area automatically. After that, you can just adjust its size and position to cover the part that you don't want. So if you want to clone another area, you can click select another object and then you can copy it over to other places. So we can clone a small area to cover this person and then we can clone a bigger one to cover the people sitting on the grass. But over here, you see how there's a clear edge of the part that we just copied over? If you run into this problem, try turning on our blending mode to fix it and easy peasy. Also, if you have any other leftover parts that haven't been totally cleaned up, you can always go back and use the removal tool again and clean it up as much as you like. Alrighty, done. Look at that beautiful open field. Doesn't it just make you want to frolic? All of that editing magic just using the UCAM Perfect app. So here's our before, and I'm gonna have my Thanos moment now. After. How does it look? I think it looks good. That's all for today's video. That was three ways to remove unwanted objects from your photos. Don't forget to download the UCAM Perfect app and try these tricks out for yourself. We hope you enjoyed learning these three useful tips on how to remove unwanted objects using the UCAM Perfect app on your phone. As always, we look forward to reading your questions, comments, or any feedback you have, so leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, now's a good time to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive notifications for our videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.